Is everyone here and ready to proceed? Yes, yes Prof. Yes, we can proceed. Yes, Thank Prof. you. Right, I take it we are mastering the six steps on giving instructions. Any challenge on any particular step? Hello, sir. Hi. Yes, I have a challenge on step four, especially with the exercise that you said you must do, if I'm not mistaken. On step four. The fees. Pardon, sir? On the fees. Yes, sir, on the fees. Um, especially on that, on that um, statement of account about Mr. Sibata and Mr. Zahara, I I got very lost there. Right. Let us uh, look at that exercise. That is uh, exercise one, not so. It's question one. Say it's written question one. Right, question one. Yes, um, Mr. Sabata and Mr. Zahara. Right, can we all go there? Can we all go to the question? Are we all there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, we are going to to follow the six steps we discussed last night to answer this. And we are Agreed that you are going to master the six steps. You will know them by heart. Can I take it that you know these six steps by heart? Not yet. Hi, not yet, sir. Please let us know them. Let us know them by heart. It is the only way to deal with a question on giving instructions. Right, let us um, look at this um, statement here. Or simply let us read the accompanying message. It says you receive the following statement from your correspondent, Lollywe Inc., in a matter where they acted for you to collect 6,000 from Mr. Zahara for your client, Mr. Sibata. What is your understanding of this? In other words, 
what type of correspondent account is this and why? Just by the instructions. Yes, why? Because of the statement, you received the following statement. Yes. And we give so, I'm, sorry an instruction. To, I'm sorry to, to, to interrupt. I just want to check if this information cannot be like. I can't hear you. I'm just checking if this information cannot be shown on the screen because uh, which information? I can't see anything. That which information, sir? The access, the the information that you are giving us. I don't know if maybe it's what you have as your notes. Um, yeah. You you have this as question one, sir. Under the title of giving instructions. I'm sure he the means exercises the which were shared with you. Does everybody see this? I don't see anything from my side. There is sir. nothing on the screen yet. Right, I agree there with you. There shouldn't be anything on the screen. Remember, we were giving these questions from Edida. Yes, the questions we have, but he just asked if we can see this, so we don't know what is it that we must see on the screen. I do have the exercise in front of me, which I downloaded from the e-leader. That yes. one is fine, it's covered. Yes, and I was not saying or asking if you see something on the screen, but I meant, do you all see the question one that yes. I referred you to? Yes, yes. So we can so see the question. question. Right, so wow. please, following the six steps, let us deal with this question. But before that, I want us to look at the statement. Let us discuss it to see if we are able to identify items as per these steps. Are we able to see our, um, our step one on this statement? Yes. 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 What is it? Check here, 5,400. 5,400. So that is our step one. Where is our step two? 6,000 on the credit on the credit side. Cash by Mr. Zahara. Yes. Step three. Step three is all those on the debit side, excluding the check year worth yes. of 5,400. Yes. Step four. All those on the credit side except the collected amount. The fees, fees. Yes. Right. Now let us deal with it because we understand it. Steps five and six are not a problem because we know after dealing with fees, we will transfer, and transfer is our step number five. Then step number six, being the last step, will be statement of account to the client. Prof, I've got a question. Eh? 
Yes. Step number one. Uh, so if it says uh, to check here with, so should I take it to mean uh, the EFT? Yes, it's the EFT. And in fact, going forward, you'll find the um, EFT because checks have been discontinued. Oh, yes, because it was your right. No, thank you. Right. Um, now tell me, where do we begin? What book do I open? The Trust Cash Book. Trust cash book. Cash book. The Trust Cash Book. So we must open Trust Cash Book. And what do we do on the Trust Cash Book? Deposit. Debit. 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 And narration will be? Payment received. Payment received from correspondent. From where? Who's our correspondent? Loliwa Incorporated. Right. Loliwa Inc. Loliwa Inc. How much are we getting? Five thousand four hundred. What else do we do? Open a trust ledger account. Trust correspondent trust ledger account. Yes. yes. And what do we write? Lolly way in in trust. In trust. Lolly way in in trust. And how do we record here? Trust cash book. We created uh, on the credit side. Oh. Five thousand four hundred. Next. Journal trust uh, journal entry trust journal. No, we have to open a ledger a ledger trust account for Mr. Sebata. For what? Um, no, we the, sorry, before we open the um, ledger account, there's got to be a journal entry because this is a non-cash entry. So it's a journal entry, a trust journal entry. For collected amount. Yes. A trust for um for the client. Okay. Talk to me as if I know nothing. Tell me we are done with step number one. And yes. we are now yes. going to step number two. And in our step number two, we are dealing with the collected amount. Yes. And our collected amount here is 6,000 and it appears on the credit side of the statement. Not so. Do you follow? Yes. So I just want to say yes. why, why it appears on the credit side of the statement and it is 6,000. How do we deal with it? We will go to yes. a trust journal where we will debit the correspondent being Lollywood Inc. 
and credit our client being Mr. Sebata. Do you so I just want to check. Yes. Yes. The, the, the 5,000 is that one which is supposed to be, which is a check, which is supposed to be an EFT. Yes. That is what we are receiving. Okay. It's money. Oh, it's not the, the 6,000. No, no, no. Remember when we explained the steps uh, last night, we agreed that money is what we find in step number one. Yes. In step number two, it is what was collected by the correspondent. Okay. Uh, thanks, sir. Yes, welcome. Right. What do we do in our step number two? We, we open a trust journal. journal. We open a trust journal. Check also. Do you see that I am not mixing journals with ledgers? Do you see I'm going to a separate page for, you see? Right, what do we do here? We can see the page. Can, can we take it up? And yeah, go? What do we you do here? Yeah, but, uh, while we were in, in, in trust. Yes. With 6,000. And you With credit Sabato in trust. And you credit Sabata in trust. With 6,000. And you credit Mr. Sabata. With how much? Six thousand. And your narration will be? Money is collected by its correspondent on behalf of Sabata. Yes. Collected amount. Collected amount. From here, where do you where do you go? You post it to the ledgers. We post to the ledgers. Trust or business ledgers? Trust. Trust ledger. Trust ledgers. On the trust ledgers, what do we do? Which debit account do we debit it. and which one do we credit? Which one do we debit? You debit Loliwe. And your narration is? Collection amount. Collected amount. And now, how much is it? 6,000. 6,000. I'm sorry, Prof. What else do we do? I'm sorry, Prof. I can't see the, the, the page. I'm not sure if you are displaying it. This advice. I'm displaying a page. Uh, but with my side here is not showing. I'm not sure if I'm. Is there a... somebody else who does not see? No, we see, Prof. Okay, right. that doesn't really sweep me here. Okay, thanks. So we have Mr. Sibata in trust. Do we debit or credit? Credit. We credit. credit. And our narration is? Credit. Lolly, we're in. We're in trust. Lolly, we're in trust. Yes. Yes. And the narration is? Collected. Um, just one sec for me.
Not that. Right, let us uh, proceed. Before you proceed, sir, I have a question. Please. All right, let's deal with your okay. question. Madam. It has to do with the format, just sort of just to go out of what we are already doing. Um, the format in the in the guide indicates a particular debit and credit of which I prefer that one. Will it be fine if I write it as is or you want us to follow your method of writing? No, you can use the method in the guide. We discussed this on Monday. Oh, all right. We okay. discussed this on Monday. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes. We spoke about the format on Monday. Thank you. You can use whichever one um, works better for you. All right, thanks. All right, um, let us proceed. We we just um, recorded on the Trust Journal where we debited Lollywe Inc. in trust with the collected amount of 6,000 and credited our client, Mr. Sata, in trust with the same amount, 6,000, and then we posted to ledgers. And in posting to ledgers, we then went to Lollywe Inc. in trust and debited. Now we come to Mr. Sabata in trust so that we can credit. And when we credit Mr. Sabata's account in trust, our narration will be Lollywe Inc. Lollywe Inc. and the amount will be the same, 6,000. 6,000. Yes. Does it make sense to so, everyone? Yes. Well, there's yes, no clarity yes. here. Why is the supporter in trust? Uh, the 60, uh, why is the in trust? Why is the of, uh, Yes. Instead of? Trust. Instead of? Uh, no, instead of, uh, um, yes, uh, lonely way. Instead in of trust. lonely way? Yes, in trust. Say, we, we've, debited yes. we've debited lonely way. We've debited lonely way, Inc. and credited Mr. Sebata. So what, what is the question? Your question is, why are we crediting Mr. Sabata and not Lollywe? Yes, is it because eh? we are the, uh, the law firm as Sabata? Is it the Sabata the one who's collecting money from Lollywe? Say, so go back to the covering message to this question. Can you please read that uh, just under question one? Okay. Um, your uh, understanding of the your... matter should start there. 
Okay. When you talk about the... Let's hear you. Okay. Okay. It says. Okay. It says you received the following statement. A statement from the from your correspondent, Lolly Inc. In a matter where they acted for you uh, to collect six thousand rand from Mr. Zahara for your yes. client, Mr. Sebat. Yes. What What is your understanding there? Okay. No, now I, I do understand that's what I wanted to understand with regard to the money going to who acting on mm. behalf of who. But now I do understand that we are acting on behalf of Sibata. Hence that, that, the credit yeah. as we have yeah. a debited yeah. loan. That is why we uh, started by that. analyzing it before answering. Can you assist us to analyze it again, Prof? We, we... It's not I see. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Hello, Prof. Yes. Uh, I think my problem is the same as the one of the gentlemen. Uh, analyzing it, it's a problem. You know, I think my problem with this, it's it's analyzing this correspondent and what, what, what. I've got understanding of the debit and credit and so forth, but understanding the correspondence and what, 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 what. I think that's where my confusion is. Okay, but in our situation here, let, let's read the question from, from the beginning. It says you received the following statement from your correspondent, Lonely Way Inc. In a matter where they acted for you to collect 6,000 from Mr. Zahara for your client, Mr. Sebata. And I asked him as to what type of correspondent account is this? And an answer came from the class that it is giving instructions. And I asked why, and you said, because the instruction here says you receive a statement. And it goes further to say they acted for you to collect 6,000 from Zahara. So it means that here you are the instructing attorney. You are the instructing attorney. Lonely Way Inc. is your correspondent attorney. This is the attorney you instructed to assist you in doing the matter. And the, the matter was against Mr. Zahara, meaning that Mr. Zahara is the dead idea. And your client, Mr. Sebata, is the creditor. If you were to litigate, you would call Mr. Sebata the plaintiff and Zahara the defendant. So Zahara is and then we Mr. Said, Sibata. Hello? So Zahara is owing Mr. Sibata. Yes, that is what the statement says here. All right. All right. So we said that in order to deal with this, we need to follow the six steps which I said you must master or you must know by heart. The first step is the EFT step. Step one, we deal with the EFT. And we agreed last night that the EFT is found on the debit side of the statement that you received from the correspondent and at the bottom there. We identified the EFT as 5,400. And because this is money that we are receiving from the correspondent, we must take it to the trust cash book 
And the reason we are taking it to the trust cash book is that it is not our money. It is money that we are receiving on behalf of our client, Mr. Sebata. So we debited the trust cash book and our narration was Loliwe Inc. 5,400. We then opened an account for Loliwe Inc. in trust, which account we credited with the EFT amount. And our narration was trust cash book. We then went to step number two. Step number two deals with the collected amount. The collected amount is found on the credit side of the statement. In our case here, we identified the collected amount as 6,000. And you correctly said to me that we need to go to a book called Trust Journal. In the Trust Journal, we will debit the correspondent and credit our client. We will debit the correspondent and credit our client. And when we were explaining the steps last night, we said that the reason we debit the correspondent is that Although it is the correspondent who collected this money, it does not belong to them. Instead, it belongs to our client. This is why we debit the correspondent and credit our client. By debiting the correspondent and crediting our client, we are actually moving value from the correspondent to the client, because this is where it belongs. After that, we remembered the principle that says, after using a journal, we must post to ledgers. So we posted to ledgers. And the relevant ledgers we posted to should be in trust because the relevant journal from which we are posting is in trust. This is why we then came to Lollywe Inc. in trust and debited the 6,000. And our narration is collected amount. We then opened an account for our client, Mr. Sebata, in trust and credited it with the same figure, 6,000. Our narration is Loliwe Inc. Loliwe Inc. So this is where we are now. And through this, we are done with step number two. We should now move to step number three. In step number three, we deal with what? You should guide me, by the way. The cost. What do we deal with in our step number three? We discussed these steps last night. Cost. Cost. Where are our costs? On the debit side of the statement. On, on the debit side of the statement. What is the total there? It's excluding EFT. It's excluding EFT, yes. How much? 
830. Does everyone get this? Yeah, it's 830. 830. Yes. And when we discussed the steps last night, I said that you need to ask yourself who is liable to pay these costs and who is entitled to these costs. And the answer is that the correspondent is entitled to the cost. The correspondent is entitled to the cost because the correspondent did the work. Your client, Mr. Sabata. Yes. I'm sorry, sir. I I can't find the 840 and I'm, I'm not so sure. How Ed, you, sir. You Ed, let's get started. Right. To add 600 yeah, yeah, yeah. to 100, remember, 140, add the amount, 140, add the amount of the debit side of the statement. A fee, the fee, the collection fee again, commission. 830, not 40. Yes. Is, is the 600 rand which is to the collection fee or the collection commission and say the your uh, yes. and hey three yes, agent the collection commission 600. do you get it now sir unfortunately no sir I also don't get He's not going to understand if we all talk. Can, can, can students allow prof, prof to explain? Right. Please let us go back to our discussion of last night, sir. We said costs appear on the debit side of the statement. You add all the amounts on the debit side of the statement except the EFT amount. The total that you get there is to be used to debit your client in the trust journal and credit the correspondent. Look at the debit side. There are several figures reflected there. Do you have your statement in front of you, sir? Do you have the <coughs> statement, sir? Tatan, do you have the statement? Yeah. He has now disappeared. Yes, do you have the statement? Uh, Prof, now, yes, I do, uh, I do see. And thank you very much to you and, and the students as well. Yeah, but what I do you see, sir? It. But do you, well, do you I, see I, the well, figures well, reflected you, on you, the debit side? You add all, all yes, on the debit side, and you exclude you add all the amount on the debit side? Yes. That done. You you add yes, all the amounts on the debit yes. side except the yes. EFT. Yes. Do you get it? Yes, I, right. I, I get it. 830. Thank you very much. Okay. With these costs, you will debit your client because your client is liable, and then credit the correspondent. But where do you do this? You do this in the trust journal. So you'll have your 
client, Mr. Sebata, debited. Mr. Sebata, Lollywe, Inc. Debit Mr. Sebata with 8.30 and credit Lollywe, Inc. With the same amount, 8.30. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Yes. Mm. Your narration will simply be costs. Your narration will simply be costs. From here, where do you go? Your translators. First to the translators. Where do you go from here? You, you post in the translators. You post mm -hmm. to? To the ledger. Mr. Sebastian. Right. Which ledgers are we posting to? Mr. Sebastian. The Lollywood Trust. The Lollywood Inc. Uh, Mr. Sebastian. Uh, Trust ledgers, not so. Yeah. We are posting to trust ledgers. And which account will, will be affected here? Credit which account will be affected? Interest. Yes. So we go to our trust ledgers where we will debit Mr. Sebata and our narration will be Lollywe Inc. Lollywe Inc. And the amount we are debiting is 830, being the cost. And, and then we go to Lollywe Inc. in trust and do what? We credit. credit. We credit Lollywe Inc. And our narration is cost. <laughs> And the amount is 8.30. Does everybody see this? Right. So this way, we are done with step number three, which deals with costs. We are done with step number three, which deals with costs. Yes, sir. Was there a question? Right, let's proceed. We are done with step number three. We now can go to step number four. What does step number four deal with? The fees. <laughs> right. Step number four deals with fees. Where do we find our fees on this statement? Credit side. On the credit we side. find our fees on the credit side. Right. In our case here, how much are our fees? Two hundred and thirty. How much are our fees? Two hundred and thirty. Two hundred and thirty. Does everybody see this? Does everyone agree with this? No, not following. Does everybody agree with this? Yes. Right. Yes. Can you please explain? How do you deal with this? 230. How do we deal with this? 
Where do we get the two thirty? Where do we get the two thirty? Let's account. Feed journal. Tatana. Hello. We do a feed journal. Okay, fine. Before we get there, somebody has, is asking where we are um, getting this um, two thirty from. This from the instruction ask, fee. The one that the the fee. No, but before before you answer that, before you answer that, I am I am prompted to ask if we all did not do this work because this was given to you last night to to work on, and the idea was that today we are dealing with corrections. Not so. Yes, sir. Yes. The, the understanding was that this would serve as your homework and ordinarily you you should be submitting this work to me for me to see what you have done. Yes. So you seem to have not gone through the, the notes I was giving yesterday when we were discussing this. We did. Because when we discussed the steps, when we discussed the steps, we did indicate that in step number four, we deal with costs. I mean, we deal with fees. Yes. And we also said that our fees are made up of the allowances given to us by the correspondent. And we said that these will appear on the credit side of the statement. You consider all those amounts on the credit side except the collected amount these are fees to you if we look at the credit side of our statement how many figures do we see there except the collected amount two, 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 two amounts two, two. you see two amounts there. 30 and 200 yes. When you add them, what do you get? 230. 230. 230. So 230. these are your fees. These are your fees. Where do you record this? The you record the this in the fee journal. In the fee journal. The fee journal. You record this in the fees journal. So you will see that I am going to a new page to record a fees journal because I understand that a fees journal is part of my business set of books and I cannot mix it with trust. Fees journal. In the fees journal, what do we do? We're going to uh, debit La Liwe Inc. for 230 and fees with 230. We're going to credit. Debit La Liwe Inc. with 230. It's That's 230. And credit whom? We're going to credit. That's all. And then we say, what do we say? Above narration, what do, you, do we say? Um, that collect allowance. Allowance received, not so. But fees yes. and correspondent. Prof? Yes, sir. Can I ask you a question? Uh, why, yes, sir. Why do we separate the fees journal from other journals? Because uh, my understanding is a journal is a journal you used to, to post the transaction into the general ledger. So you use a journal which is going to post those amounts into the general. Why do we separate those two? If I may ask. Which journal, sir? Uh, we brought those journals that we did, uh, what we call them, the, the trust journal that we did. Where do you find the trust journal, sir? 
Can you on find the trust, trust general in business? No, on the trust account. And the fees general? On the business. Do you still want to mix them? And what did I say on Monday when we started about your business set of books and your trust set of books? You said the trust is the money that is not belonging to us. It's for, for the client. No, no, trust set of books and business set of books. All right. I said you must not mix. You must them. not mix the two. All right. All right, no, it's fine. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Okay. All right. So from here, where do we go? We have written on a fees journal. Where else do we go? We push to the leisure. leisure. Proof, why are we saying a third allowance received and not a third allowance on fees? Sorry, Prof. <laughs> because that's the narration according to the... Yes, ma'am. Yes, Prof. I want to Hello. know why are we saying a third, a third allowance received and not a third allowance on fees? Okay. This is because it's not an allowance that we are giving but it is an allowance that we were given. Remember that I, we I, took these figures from, from the statement we got from the correspondent. Our, our fees are made up of allowances that we received from the correspondent. Do you follow, Manan? Yes, thank you, Prof. Thank you. Well, so we need to post to ledgers. Which ledgers are we posting to? Please. Trust for business. 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 Why business? Because it's the money that belongs to us. To us. We are dealing with what is due to us, so we will post to business ledgers. Mutual rights. So we'll have our business cash book here. Then we'll also have our um, lowly way ink in business. As, as well as Which one do we debit and which one do we credit? We debit the we business. Debit, we debit business case in. Book, and then we credit fee. Okay. And our narration is? Debit lowly We can say uh, fees if, when yes, allowance. you can still say allowance received. You can still say you can say fees if you like. You can still say one third allowance received. If you are not sure of the rate that was used, simply say allowance received. And then on the fees we we credit, not so. Yes. And the narration is. Lolly Way Inc. Lolly Way Inc. Lolly 
230. In business. You, you will see that there was no VAT involved here. Do you see? Yes. yes. There was no VAT involved here. It's just fees. Am I correct to say lonely way ink in business? It's not necessary because we have lonely way ink in business already here. And this fees account is in business. You can't have a fee account in trust. Mm. All right. So are we done with our step number four? Bro. Oh, please. Yes, sir. Bro. What happened to uh, our business? Um, we still have to post to the business cash book because we received money. Not now. You are not receiving money now. You are not receiving money now. You are writing fees. It's non cash. You are writing fees. Yes, it's a non cash transaction. Can we now go to step five? Yes. yes. Before you go to step five, Prof. What do we do with uh, you know, step five? Uh, step five, we transfer. Transfer or please step no stage. What are the two things I said must be done before you transfer? You must check, check if they have enough money. money. Oh, money. money. And why do you love why do you always prefer number two over number one you must take how much is due to you yes let's yeah. just stop there shouldn't we yes but i see you prefer to start with number two <laughs> you prefer starting with the you end then going to the beginning How much is due to us? Um, check. How much is due? Okay, two hundred. What did I say you should do to determine how much is due to you? It's two hundred and eighty. <laughs> yes. How did you get that? This is the fees that belongs to us. Is the yes. allowance we received? Yes. How did you get it? How did you determine we, that we, it we is see what the ruling in trust balance is? Where did you go? See journal. To to the leeway in uh, trust account. But, but remember that I gave you a principle on this. And I said, in order for you to determine how much is due to you, you go to the relevant client's account in business and balance it. Not so. Mm. So in our case, we would come to Lonely Way Inc. in business. How much do we see here? 230. Right. That is the first thing you do before you transfer. Check. How much is due to you? And then second, check if it is available in the trust account. So it means in the second leg, you must go to Lolly Way Inc. in trust to see if there is money available. Please check for me there. Okay? Look at Lolly Way Inc. in trust and tell if there is money available. Yes, it's too clear. Yes, it is. It is. 
no, no. Let's say yeah. there are three figures recorded there. No, there's, there's no, there's no money involved. Four thousand five hundred and seventy. There's no money there. No, no. listen. You <laughs> do not thumb sum Prof. in bookkeeping. Prof. You have Prof. figures reflected there. Lonely Way Inc. in trust has three figures. Two yes. figures on the credit side and one yes. on the debit side. Not so. Yeah, yes. so there's no money. So there's the 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 <laughs> Can we please have order? We can't all talk at once. Credit yes, minus debit. Fine. The let, let us start here. To understand. Can they move themselves to listen to There is Prof. deficit in the trust. There's no enough money to pay. There is, there is, there is 230. Everyone, please mute let us, themselves yes. so Prof can talk. Please. Right. Let us not guess. It Let's go 20. to Loliwe in, in trust. What is the total of the credit sir? Take your calculators. What is the total of the credit sir? 6,230. That is what you get on the credit side, not so. Yes. Now, minus the debit side. When you minus the debit side, what do you get? It's a 200 deficit. Right. 230. Right. So you now know how much is due to you. Not so. Is it available in the trust account? It's not available. It it's is not available. available because it's, it's, not, it's, it's not, not available. It is. It is available. It's it is available. It's available. Because the credit side, when you less the debit side, you get 230. And this 230 is, in fact, what is due to you in business. Not so. Oh, yeah, got it. So, so this time we don't consider that the account will, will be in deficit. Eh? Prof. No, I was just checking that this what time we, we are not determining if the account will be in deficit in the trust account. Prof. That is the reason we are checking if it is available. We want to be sure that it is not going to be in deficit. And we so are happy that, yeah, so if. So if uh, the 230 that is available there, this is the amount that is equals to uh, what is due to us. So basically the trust yes. will be left with nothing. But in any way, the business yes. will be will be dealt with, will be over, will be closed. The 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 the, the services that was rendered by Lolliwe to is it Lolliwe uh, that was rendered to us on on our on our on behalf of our client. I'm not sure if I'm not confused, but I'm just yeah, I'm I'm not confused, but I'm just saying sir. that. Mm. L l listen, madam. It is, it is sufficient for you to say that Lonely owes us 230 in business and in trust, there's 230 available standing to the credit account of Lonely. That is sufficient. Yes. You don't need oh, to go far. Okay. Because all, okay. we want, all we want is whether there are sufficient funds in trust. So don't complicate mm. it. Yeah. Do you for what? But bro, but bro. Uh, yeah, remember I said before you transfer, there are two things you must do. Number one, determine how much is due to you. And number two, check if it is available in the trust account. That's it. Don't, don't um, innovate, not invent. Do not be creative and come with other issues. Uh -uh. Limit yourself here. How much is due to me? Is it available in trust? If it is available and it belongs to this specific client, that's that's sufficient. Uh, Prof. So, yes. Can I ask you a question? 
Yes. Can, can you go a little bit up on the trust account? Yes. I just want to find out there. On the trust account, the money that is coming in has to be on the debit side. On the trust cash book, yes. On the trust cash book. You've debited your yes. trust cash book with the money that comes in. Then you credited yes. your lowly way in corporation interest, meaning that is the money that is belonging to that trust. It means that it's a sort of a liability or something like that. Yes. That 5.4. But that 5.4, there is also amount of 6,000 that is collected there, which is the money that is in the, the trust now, that 6,000 that came in to the trust. No, it's not. If it was yeah. in the trust, it would be here. It mm. would be on the debit side mm. right. of then, the trust what cash. Is, what is what is lowly way in incorporating in trust? It's a it's a ledger. Yeah. Yes, it's a ledger. ledger. Oh, all right. Okay, no, it's fine. All right. Can we now go to the transfer journal? Um. Both. Yes, sir. If you can touch on uh, that lowly way trust, I don't mean to draw us back. I uh, just want to get an, uh, an understanding of what happened there. Lowly way in trust, are you referring to all the recordings there? Yes. Remember, this 6,000 was dealt with step number two, the collected amount. Yes. And the 5,400 was dealt with in step number one, the EFT amount, if you remember. Yes. And the 830 was recorded during step number three, the costs. Yes. And now in step number five, when we wanted to transfer, we still came here to check if there are sufficient funds for us to transfer. And this was after we first checked if we first what checked how much was due to us. Yes. yes. What confuses me is the collected amount. Yes. Collected amount that was uh, debited. Yes. Why is it on debit? Because we are moving moving it from lonely way. We are moving this value from lonely way to its rightful owner. That our client. Mr. Sabat. Do you see? We've debited yes. lonely way ink in trust, meaning that we are moving this value. It does not belong okay. here. It belongs to our client here. Yes. Mr. Asbar. Okay. okay, I get it. Hello, Prof. It, uh, that has been done, transferred from your trust journal, sir. Hello, Prof. From the trust journal, yes. Hello. <coughs> yes, sir. Uh, on the very same aspect of the 6,000. Uh, and and I, kids are singing behind. <laughs> and where is yours, your gemma? Yeah, the Who's that? Is Pilani or who? All right, can we now proceed with the transfer journal whilst everybody okay. is trying to mute? Right, for the transfer journal, we will record lonely way in. Why are you leaving no, the uh, 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 Prof, can you maybe disconnect Didi if you can? Please mute yourself. Sorry, it was a mistake. Sorry, guys, I apologize. Oh my word. Apologies. Right, Lonely Way Inc. in trust, we debit how much? 230. And Lonely Way in business, we credit 230. And narration is transfer of one third allowance. If you like, you can still say transfer of fees.
Prof, can I ask a question? Yes, Maybe you may. Do we have to say transfer of a third allowance? Um, I did do my homework, but I put here transfer owed to business. Transfer to business. I said transfer. You said transfer owed. to business. Yeah, owed to owed. It was transferred because it's owed. Um, the business, so we've got to take it from the trust to the business. Do we have to yes. stick to your form? So what, what did you say? I want to I want to hear what you I, said in the reading. I said, I said transfer owed to business. O W E D. Oh, oh OK, yes. yes. Yes, it's OK. It's acceptable. It's OK. Yeah, Thank it's you. acceptable. Thank you. You're welcome. From here, we post to ledgers, not so. Yes. Yes. Lonely way ink in trust. We are going to debit how much? 230. 230. And our narration will be. Lonely way ink in, in business, not so. 230. And then we go to Lonely Way Inc. in business. And what do we say? We credit it. And our narration is Lonely Way Inc. Way in, 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 in trust. Yes, and the amount is 230. Yes. So you see that Lonely Way Inc. in business can be closed, not so. Because you have the same value on both sides. Yes. The same goes for Lonely I mean, for, um, yes, for Lonely Way Inc. in trust. Do you see that with Lonely Way Inc. in trust as well? You have the same figure on both sides. Yes, sir. 6,000 plus 230 is 6,230. 5,400 plus 830 is also So we are done with step number six, I mean number five, or is it almost? Almost done. Almost. Almost. What is left? Cash trust trust cash trust. Trust. Credit trust cash. And what do we say? Transfer to business account. Business cash. Mm -hmm. How much are we transferring? Two thirty. Two thirty. Is that all we do? What else? That's a business cash book. We, we go to the business cash book. What do we say there? Do we debit or credit? You should debit. You should debit. You debit. You debit because we are receiving. Our narration is. Extra cash book. And the amount is. 230. 230. Yes. So now we are officially done with step number five. So we are left so with one part. step only. Yes. 
Yes. Why X? Why X? Um, why X trust cash book? Which we said from Monday, it means from. From trust cash okay. book. Because oh, this is where the transfer comes from. Now I remember. Thanks, thanks. Yes, that done. Right. Can we now go to the last step, being step number six? What do we do there? Uh, account to client. Accounting account. Account. account to client. Account to client. Let, let me give you three marks on statement of account. When you draw your statement of account, you simply copy and paste the statement from the correspondent. What you do there is you copy it as it is, you only remove the allowances that you received from the correspondent. You actually draft it as if you did the work, as if you did everything and that you did not involve a correspondent in the matter. Do you follow? You remove the allowances. Yeah, and after exactly. the, moving the allowances, you will be left with only one amount on the credit side, that being the collector amount. That is what you will use as your new balancing figures, and then you will determine a new EFT amount. Can we do it following this principle? Sorry, you remove what? Didn't get that part. Allowances. Okay, thanks. You remove allowances. You draw it as if you did the work, as if no correspondent was involved. Right. Prof, do you then add the, yes. the fees with the allowance? Oh, okay. Eh? What are you saying? Allowance do you then the add the allowance to the fee? I'm saying you remove allowances. Sorry, Prof. Yes. Prof. What about the instruction yes, fee? What about the instruction fee? We still remain with them. OK, let me repeat. You copy the statement from the correspondent. The only thing you leave out is the allowance. You take it out allowances. That is you on the draw the account as if you draw the account as if you did the work. Okay, that the allowances are on the credit side. So I see the instruction yeah. fee on the debit side. Okay. So my question is, do I still proceed to audit my statement with the instruction fee? It must be there or not? It must be there. Remember, we say that you exclude allowances. So. All right, let's draw the statement. So will the 90 rand allowance, sorry, Prof, does the 90 rand allowance then incorporate the 30 rand of your one third allowance? We don't have 90 rand allowance. It's an instruction no, fee. The, yes, but does that include the 30 rand the one third allowance? When you draw your statement Is that of account, you're leaving it out. Exclude allowances. In accordance with this statement, what will be the second item here? Tracing agent. Tracing agent. Yes, pay tracing agent. How much? 140. 140. Debit or credit? Zero. Debit. Debit. 
David. Next. Collection Commission. Yes, Mr. Yes, by Mr. Zahar. How much? Okay. Six hundred. Six thousand. <laughs> Debit or credit? Six thousand. Credit. Next. Credit. Next. Collection Commission. Yes, Commission. How much? Six hundred. Right. Debit or credit? Debit. Debit. Six hundred. Debit. Next. Six hundred. Settlement. Six hundred. <laughs> Debit. By Six EFT. Next. Delta by EFT. EFT. The settlement. By that one we credit. EFT. EFT. Yes. EFT. Five point four. We balance we balance our client's account mm. in the trust. Yes, how much? Yeah. It's five one seven zero. No, no, but what will our new balancing figures be? Your balance will be six thousand. Five thousand. The balance is six thousand two hundred and thirty. How much? Uh -uh, six hundred. Mm -hmm. Six hundred plus one foot. Plus five one. Is it not five thousand one hundred and seventy? Five thousand one hundred and seventy. Five one seven zero. Five one seven zero. Five one seven zero. Five one seven zero. Okay. Five one seven zero. Five one seven zero. Yes. Okay. All right. So where does this go? Debit side. The credit. Where to does debit the side. EFT on debit, sir. Debit side. EFT. How much? Five one seven zero. Yes, sir. Does everyone have this? Yes. 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 But this is difficult. So everyone has this. Yes, sure. But we have to close okay. our bank account. Uh, to do what? May, 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 uh, Prof, may I ask? I don't understand. Oh, now I understand. It's okay. Thank you. Self answered. Prof, I missed okay. that 570, please. You missed what? That 517. You said you missed it? The 5170. Yeah. Minus debit side. It's credit side oh, minus. Yeah. Debit sign. It's gonna be rough. They ask now, how much is due to us? We dealt with what is due to us already. So, prof. so prof. five one seven. How do we get the five one yes. seven zero? <laughs> prof, can I ask you? We said credit side, credit side minus debit side. Prof. Yes, Can I ask you? Yes. What if the balancing figure was on the credit side? It was on the credit side? Yeah, what if it was on the credit side, the balancing figure? It is on the credit side even now. It's the 6,000. So we no, brought no. it down here. No, I mean the balance the, to EFT, the 5170. Then it would mean uh, there's a tab. We should pay back to the client. 
So it means that uh, uh, we're going to pay the client or whatever the case may be. Yes. We the no, client. we are already paying this way. When we say to EFT, we are paying. He's if it were on him. the credit side, it would mean that the client owes you. All right. It would mean that the client owes Prof, you. you owe the so client. this 517 is due to the client. It is due to the client. In fact, let us pay it. Okay. Let's Thank check you. if it is available. Do you see Mr. Sbata in trust? Do you see Mr. Sbata in trust? Yes, sir. Yes. What is the balance there? 5170. 5170. So it's credit side minus debit side. <laughs> Do you see? Yes. Right. Then we pay. How do we pay? We yes. credit the. Credit the trust cash book and we pay the. Pay Mr. We credit the trust cash book with five one seven zero. Yeah. And then we debit Mr. Sabata in trust. Debit Mr. Sabata in trust. And the narration is trust cash book. 5170. So this way <laughs> we have paid. So we are left with nothing. Mr. Sabata has 6,000 on both the debit and the credit sign. Sorry, sir, can you repeat the, the last one? We, we came to our client's account in trust and found that client still has some money in our trust account. We checked how much it is and we found that it is 5,170. And then we went to the trust cash book and paid by crediting the trust cash book with the sum of 5170 and then debiting our client, Mr. Sabata, in trust with the same amount. And the narration is trust cash book. Prof, I have a question here. You, you, yes, you sir. Said, you said when we do this statement, we copy it. We copy it as is and just remove the allowances. But when we go to the EFT, yes. the EFT there from the statement was five four hundred. Yes. So now you saying we we one would have copied it as is and just removed the thirty and the two hundred. Yes. Then the one would have been wrong because they would have copied even the five thousand four hundred SE. No, because you would have understood that once you yeah. move the allowances on your credit sign, you now have one. Please, please mute. We can't hear you at all, Prof. Yes, okay. We, we said that you copy the statement from the correspondent, you remove the allowances. And once you remove the allowances, on the credit side, there will be only one amount remaining. And what is that? The 6,000. So obviously, when you compare the credit side with the debit side, you will find that the credit side is the highest value. You will use the credit side as your balancing figures, just like we have done here. And then this will lead you to a new EFT. The 5,400, the reason it was 5,400 is because 
it included your one third allowance. <coughs> it included your one third allowance. You will see that if you take the 5,000 one and minus 230, which is your one third allowance, you will get 5170. Oh, yes. Do you okay. see? Yes. Okay. Follow question, Prof? Yes. Yeah. I'm still confused yes. with the instruction. I'm still confused with the instruction fee, that 90 rand. You said we have to pretend as if we the one who did the job. But now this instruction yes. fee, my understanding is the instruction fee to their correspondence. The, 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 the client, Mr. Sebata, did not instruct the correspondent, instructed me personally to do this work. So now why? That is why the I say that you must draw as if you did the work. Pretend that you did the work, say. If you pretend okay. that you did the work, do you know how to pretend? You yes. pretend that you worked when it is actually somebody else who worked. Yes, the correspondent took instructions, but we say that pretend that it is you who took the instruction. Do you follow? Okay, okay so I thought I'm only, uh, what is due to me is the collection fee because the, 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 the client instructed me directly. Still, you did not collect. Still, it's not you who collected. It is the correspondent who collected. You did not collect any money here. The correspondent collected. In fact, the correspondent did everything here. That is why we say that when you draft the statement of account to your client, Draft as if you did the work. Draft as if you did the work. Because the client doesn't know that you instructed somebody. Exactly. The client knows you. The client knows of no correspondent. All right. Thank you, Prof. Okay. I just want to find sure. out. So essentially the EFT is the amount that we are going to be giving our client after we've deducted all no, expenses, fees, and and everything. So that's yes. the final amount that we are giving yes. our client. And we're carrying it forward the next time. Okay, yes. now I get it. Okay. Yes. No, we're not carrying it any forward. We are paying it. It's going out. Yes, we're paying it. I say. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for your clerical explanation. Prof, I just uh, would like to ask you for a favor here. Please, uh, if yes. you could go to yes. the Fizz Journal um, of Lollywood Inc. Uh, just before the transfer journal. I want to check something quickly. Yes, the Fizz Journal. Doesn't reflect on my yes. You did not record. I I recorded. I just wanted to follow up on something here, Prof. Okay. Yes, uh, Prof. You said that um, there is no vet on this one. We don't have to yes. calculate vet vet for the fees. Generally. Yes. So it, it's yes. not a given that if in all the fees we calculate, but we must check for that particular. Uh, yes. I call it uh, instruction. Yes. Okay. Thank yes. you so much. Bro. Check. You are welcome. Okay. All right. We will take our comfort break. When we return at, uh, at 25 past, we will deal with conveyancing transactions. We will deal with conveyancing transactions. Let us break. Okay.
and you please mute yourself even if you're on break. What time are we coming back, Prof? Uh, 25 past. So in All the right. meantime, Oga better drive one motor room. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Prof. Hello. We are yeah, on a break. break. I, I'm, I, I'm not asking, I'm, I was just asking for the screen. We are on this <laughs> gone. <laughs> we don't have to drive Koloi. Hey, you want Koloi? I was saying, are you able to put that uh, exercise, the whole of it on the screen? Uh, uh, it can't appear the whole of it. It okay. will just be part. Okay, can we go to the trust uh, journals then? The journals. Trust journals, and then as we continue. Is that all? Satan is gone. <laughs> He's on a break, sir. We are actually paid. What time are we coming back from break? 1925. Thank you, my guy. 
Prof. Mugabe. Uh, uh. Right, 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 right. Is everybody back? Right, let's deal with conveyancing transactions. Conveyancing transactions. In conveyancing transactions, the understanding you need to have is that you are a conveyancer. You've passed the conveyancing examination. You've been admitted and you are practicing as such. As a conveyancer, you attend to registration of transfer of ownership of um, immovable property. You assist the seller. The seller is your client. The seller is the one who will normally approach you for assistance after um, they have sold property to a buyer. But sometimes you get approached by an estate agent on behalf of the seller. You may be approached at a time when the parties have already signed a deed of sale or they may approach you and ask you to draw a deed of sale for them they may approach you and ask you to draw a deed of sale for them and then have to facilitate the registration process What is important here is the deed of sale. What does the deed of sale say? Whether you have drafted the deed of sale or it was given to you by the seller, you need to peruse and understand the contents of the deed of sale. In particular, check for the following in the deed of sale. The purchase price. What is the purchase price? How is the purchase price going to be paid? How is it going to be paid? For example, example, Will the purchaser pay a deposit? And then balance 
required by bond. Or will it be a cash transaction? Or will the whole amount, will the whole amount that you are by bond? Will the whole purchase price be secured by bond? The deed of Sale. The deed of sale will tell you this. Do you have authority to invest the deposit paid by the purchaser? And here you are looking at section 86 form of the Legal Practice Act. Do you have authority to invest the deposit? And obviously, if you have authority to invest the deposit, it means it is an investment in terms of section 86 form of the Legal Practice Act. liable to pay who is liable to pay the cost of transfer ordinarily or the default position is that the purchaser pays ordinarily pays costs of transfer. Ordinarily. But it is important that you still check what the deed of sale says in respect to this, because it is possible that the parties may agree differently, despite the default position being that the parties are is liable for all costs of transfer. Is there an estate agent involved in the transaction? Check. Is there an estate agent involved here? Does the deed of sale say anything about an estate agent? Why do you need to check this? You need to check this so that you may know whether or not an estate agent commission is payable. Because if there's an estate agent involved, you need to pay the estate agent before you can pay the purchase price to the seller. In other words, from the purchase price that is due to the seller, you will deduct the estate agent's commission. It is the responsibility of the seller to pay the estate agent. It is the seller who commissioned the estate agent. So the seller must pay the estate agent. So before you pay the seller, first deduct the money that is due to the estate agent. Pay the estate agent. Thereafter, you will 
decay the cell. Dates are important. The dates on which transactions occur are very important and must be recorded. The dates on which transactions occur are important and must be recorded in your transactions. We need to know the dates on which transactions occur. To, to practicalize, let us tackle a question. And this will be the first question on conveyancing transactions under practical exercises. Let us deal with exercise number one there. Do we see this? <coughs> Go to the practical exercises shared with you and go to exercise number one. Yes, Prof. Does everybody have this? Convincing. Yep. Yes. Let's deal with it. Let me first read the entire question and what yes. we are required to do there. Exercise one. You are approached by Giantino to assist in the transfer of ownership over immovable property he sold to Bonjisi for 900,000. In terms of the agreement, the purchaser will pay a deposit of 300,000 on date of signature and the balance will be secured by bond from Khere Bank, you are authorized to invest the deposit at BNF Bank for the benefit of the purchaser. The purchaser is liable for all costs of transfer. Let us analyze this. Looking at the checklist, what do you see there? Are you able to identify the purchase price from what yes. I read? Yes. yes. What yes, is sir. the purchase price? 900,000. 900,000. How is it payable? Three hundred thousand. Deposit. 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 From her bank, not so. Yes, so that. What, what is the balance of the purchase price if the deposit of 300,000 is paid? 600,000. 600,000. Mm -hmm. Right. Who is the seller? Gentino. Who is the seller? Gentino. 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 And who is the purchaser? Bonsisi. 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 
Ponches. 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 <laughs> yes. Hey, that laugh. <laughs> yeah. Also yeah. worrying me. I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let us jump or skip the transactions for now and go to the instruction required. Do you see these? Yes, yes. Please record the above transactions in your books of account mm -hmm. and transfer what you are entitled to from the trust account to the business account. Do you hear this? Additional note on calling up the investment, you receive an extra amount of three thousand as interest. Do you follow? Right. So the calling Let us up go of investment. Yes. Now I was checking the calling up of investment. Yes. We are referring to the interest here received after the on money was invested in terms. Yes. Yes. Calling up simply means on closing the investment. On closing the investment account, on withdrawing from the investment account you receive an extra amount of 3,000 as interest. The following. Right, let's deal with it. Let's record, let's record. The following transactions of okay. one. The following <coughs> transactions of one. What's happening? Uh, we received a deposit from John Santino. On 1 February, the agreement is signed and you receive two EFT payments from the purchaser for 300,000 and 30,000 in respect of the deposit and pro forma costs respectively. Do you see? Yes, yes. What do you do here? You open the account. Do you have Where do you go? Trust cash book. 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 Debit or credit? Debit. 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 Why debit? We receive. Receive money. Money. Because we are receiving money. money. Yes. There is money. Right. And our narration is? Deposit paid. Bunchies. Transfer Not deposit so. pays. Bunchies. Bunchies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Yeah, forty thousand. What else do we do? We credit bonds. We credit bonds in bonds in business trust in business. 
Yeah. But he's not our client. Yeah. It is our client. Conquis in trust. Conquis in trust. Yes. Conquis in trust. Chantino in trust. Conquis in trust. We open a ledger. We open an account for Conquis in trust. Debit or credit? Credit. 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 Trust. Trust. Cash Narration. Trust. Cash How much? Three hundred thousand. Three hundred. Three hundred thousand. What, what yeah. else do we do? Open an investment oh, account. Thousand. So, so, Prof, we don't put a date yes. on the trust on on bonds is in trust in trust. Uh, trust yes, we do. We do. We do. Is that all we do? What about the we receive another EFT, not so. Yes, of course. We receive yes. another EFT from the same person. Do you see? Yes. For how much? 30,000. 30, Both are received on the same day. Yes. yes. That's what the instruction says. You hold yeah, but you, you wrote zero three. Oh yeah. Zero zero two. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so we credit on G C in trust. 80,000. Are we now done with transactions of the first day of February? Are you yes. done? Yes, no. No. We are, no. no. We are, you've got no. to deposit the money in, in a special bank account, in the investment account. Yes. Or the How do you record an investment? How do you record an investment? You open an investment account. You open an investment account. Open an investment account. Then you're going to credit your trust account. In terms of section 86 of section 4. Open a trust account, General. But before that, we credit so the trust, trust, trust account. account. Yes. Yes. To credit the trust cash book. Correct. Credit the trust cash book. On 1 February, your narration is investment on behalf of Bonjis. How much? 300,000. Um, 300,000. No. What else do you do? To opening an investment, investment account. Ledger. In terms of uh, section 86.4. Yes. At BNF Bank. And whose investment is this? By Bunches. <laughs> yes. Is that all we do? We have to debit the yes. amount. The amount. No, we credit the amount. We have to debit the amount. By Good. trust cash book. And this happens on which date? Oh one. 
February. And the narration is? Past cash book. Past cash book. And the amount is? 300,000. 300,000. So this way we have invested and now we can say that we are done with transactions of 1 February 2020. Yes. What about, what about the 30,000? Are we not investing it? Or what? Read the instruction. Go up there. 30,000 is a cost. Yes, but read um, the fourth line. Read the yeah, fourth well, line. You're authorized to invest the deposit. How much is the deposit? 300,000. 300,000. Yes. All right. Sorry, sir. I think what's confusing is that um, the instruction says um, through for 300,000 and 30,000 in respect of the deposit. What is and confusing Or and respectively. Okay, now we see. And pro forma cost respectively. Another one is a pro forma cost. Oh, okay. okay. What is confusing there, Manana? Sorry, if I may ask. Uh, now we get to you now, bro. No, I understand, so I apologize about that. Um, when it said um and thirty thousand in respect of the deposit, so yeah, no, I understand. I apologize. And, and also on the first paragraph, it clearly highlights the three hundred thousand as a deposit. First paragraph. Yes. Yes. What are the pro forma costs? All right, so we are done with transactions of the 1st of February. Do you see that on this one day, you do many things? These are transactions of one day, do you see? Yes, sir. Yes. Can we go to number two? Yes, sir. On 2 February, you pay 12,000 to SARS for transfer duty. You pay transfer duty to SARS, 12,000. Do you follow? No. Yes. Yes. It's yes. a disbursement. Yes. yes. It's a disbursement, not so. Yes, it is. How do you deal with a disbursement? You pay out the trust account, cash book. Because yeah. you know. You create a trust cash book. Credit, yes. Twelve thousand. The first check where you Why do have money. Cash where you may, do have money uh, to pay uh, 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 May I ask something? Looking at the value of the house, are we allowed to pay SARS for transfer duty? We are given facts, Tatana. We deal with the facts that we have here. We are not in practice. <laughs> Do you follow? In practice, it's another situation, but here we are dealing with the facts given to us. Uh, I'm, con I'm convinced, yes, Tatana. Your, your transfer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tatana. Uh, it's a bonkies in business. Bonkies. <laughs> I think the twelve thousand should be credited in the Yes. Come on, man. Am I right? Can you speak? What up? did we say about disbursements from Monday? You How do we deal with disbursements? Where did you have we to said if there's no check the trust sure. account if it has enough money? Yeah. Yeah. 
If it doesn't, you pay if you for do, the business. If it does, but if you do from trust. If you, if you do, you do it from trust. You pay so in our case here, yeah, then... from which account do we pay? From the, the trust, trust account. Is... From, from the trust. trust. From the bond right. so in trust. How do we record this? Because so we will do what? Or we debit it, sorry. What do we do? We will credit. We will credit. debit credit. Uh, the 40,000. Write the date. Write the date. Oh, which date? The 2nd of February. So yes. Transfer duty. Yes, yeah, it's transfer duty. Yes. If you like, you can also say paid SARS. It's okay. We understand. How much? 12,000. 12,000. Sorry, what else do we do? It, you debit. We go and the debit the bonuses in trust to the ledger. Yes. Yes. On which day? On the second of February. And our narration is transfer duty. Transfer narration. Trust cash book. Transfer cash book. Trust cash book. Yes. So we are done with the transactions of 2 February. Can we go to the next transaction? Yes, sir. Yeah. And that is number three. On 4 yes, February, sir. the bank advises you that the EFT for 300,000 was paid, but the one for 30,000 was reversed. What do you do there? What's happening there? What is your understanding of the situation here? Insufficient funds. Trust count. 30,000 didn't go through. Yes. So we reverse it. We the trust cash book. With 30,000 rent. Yes. Is it not a supplementary we, cash? We debit, so it means we receive it. We, we credit. What do we do? How do we, we credit? How do we do we credit? Credit. 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 credit? Are we not crediting trust in cash book? The trust cash book. Credit. Yes. We are reversing. Yes. We are reversing. Yes. We are reversing. Yes. Thirty thousand. So we say reverse the EFT. That's correct. No, if you bank, like, you can the bank, see. The bank has actually debited the accounts. If you like, you can also say simply bond GC colon reverse EFT. Do you follow? Yeah. Yes. Prof, do we not use the supplementary trust cash book? We're not there yet. We're dealing with our books. So this money was later paid in cash. How do we deal with that? We debit it as well. No, we're still going there, sir. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're okay. still on the fourth. And and we are when we are on the fourth, we don't know what's happening on the fifth. Yes, yes. Okay. So, so we are we are dealing with transactions of the day. So after having reversed it here, what else do we do? Go to bond cheese. in trust. Bond cheese in trust. We go to bond cheese in trust. And we debit cash book of eight thousand on the fourth of two. Yes. We've reversed it. Is that all? Is that all on the fourth? The, yes. the, the business account. Yes, for what? Well, you've taken the there's no the money. 12,000 for the transfer duty. Eh? For the 12,000 transfer duty. 
Yes, what do we do? What do we do with it? Transfer to the business. We to the business. Transfer, transfer it back from trust. the business account. We uh, debit the, uh, we, um, uh, it's done. We credit the, uh, the, the, the trust account and debit transfer. the business account. The payments no, done. When you do so, it means you are taking money from trust to business. We sorry, debit the trust. Sorry, the other way around. You credit the, the trust and. Uh, no, no, we debit the trust cash book. You, you advise the legal practice. But do we have money available? Yes. I'm interested in that one. Have... I'm interested in that one. You advise the LPC the trust. and then. You actually have to. Yeah. It's a legal, prof, legal practice prof, um, association. The of the we can't hear one person at a time. There's no one in the country now. Can't hear anything now. All right. This reversal you got to, yeah, you got of to advise, the EFT. You've got to advise the LPA or the LP practice or whatever board that um, you're, um, you're in deficit with this amount. Yes. Yes. And then after that? Uh, and then but remember but then there are two things you do when there's a deficit. But, but can't the first you one is to report to the LPC. And the second one, but can't you check if you've got money in your business business account? From your business account. So the money from your business account, your trust account. Yes. So the client will owe you. Right. Remember that we, we said that after reporting to the LPC, you will transfer funds from your business account to the trust account to close the deficit or to correct the deficit. Do you yes. remember this? Yeah. Yes. Because your trust account should not be in deficit. Deficit, yes. And the reversal of the EFT has caused a deficit in your in your trust account. Oh. So you need to deal with this as soon as you discover. So there's going to be a book that you use to correct this deficit. And what is that book? Your business cash book. What is that book? Transfer journal. Transfer journal because you are transferring from trust to business. So you'll have Bonchisi in business and Bonchisi in trust. So Bonchisi in business, you debit. 12,000. When GC in trust, you credit 12,000. Your narration will see me of deficit. So, um, Are you lost. happy with this? Uh, I'm lost with this 12,000 rent. Yes. I'm honestly lost. Yes. Because my understanding was that the 12,000 rent, as far as I saw above, was, was for transfer duties. Now I see yes. now we are talking about a correction of deficit. Yes. You paid transfer so duty, I'm, not so, of 12,000. Correct. Not so, sir. Yes. From which account did I you pay transfer duty? From the trust account. From which account did you pay transfer duty? It was from, uh, from which account? Uh, trust account. Yes, trust account. From, from the trust account. Did you have money in the trust account when you paid transfer duty? No. Yes, there was money. The EFT 
T that you thought was money was later reversed. And you found this on 4 February. Not so. Yes. Yes. The EFT what does this create in trust? A deficit. A deficit. No money. Well, negative. Not negative. negative. Yes, but yes. only only thirty thousand. That, that only thirty thousand that was reversed, not the yes. entire three hundred thousand. The three hundred thousand is yeah, invested. Yeah, but the three hundred grand has been invested. It's not even it's in the trust account. Did you not invest the three hundred thousand? Okay. Is invested. Yes, we we did invest the three hundred. Yes, even if it was a trust, we did can't you not use invest it. it. We did invest. The Even if it was not invested, it was not meant for that purpose. Exactly. What was meant for this purpose is 30,000. OK. But it was reversed. But it was, it was also reversed. Okay. And now that it was reversed, what does it leave the trust with? With the minus balance. Deficit. With a minus. A yes. deficit of how much? A deficit of how much? Twelve. And now that there's a deficit in trust, what are you obliged to do by law? To report. To correct it. Report and correct. Report by it. doing what? To report and correct by doing what? By paying from your business By account pay, and from the business accounts through a transfer. And when you pay from the yes, and when, when you pay from the business account, which book will you use? Transfer journal. Transfer journal. Can we now post to ledgers? Well, no, bro. Yes. Uh, as I say, but where is that 12,000 rents coming from? Because we it's coming are, from we business. Having, Look at the transfer journal. Zero. It's coming where? from the transfer now, from the business account, because we don't have that money in the trust uh, account. The attorney's business account, correct? Yes. So yes, why, are we say, why, are we say, why, why are we saying Bonches is business then? Yes, that was my question. We're saying Bonches in business because when we take now our own 12,000, Bonches will become a business debtor. So we're yes. debiting Bonches. He remains owing us in business. On the, on the yes. GL. It's how we'll identify who we pay the transfer duty for. So we will have to open a business cash book and bonjis in business, not so. And we'll open an account for bonuses in, in business. Then we post two ledgers. And when we post transactions from a journal to ledgers, we don't change anything. Change anything. What is debited remains debited, and what is credited remains credited. Then we debit business account and credit purchase in business. Right. We debit purchase in business, and our narration will be 
Ponjisi in trust. The amount here is 12,000. And then we go to Ponjisi in trust to credit. And this happens on which date? For February. And narration is bunches in business. A thousand. Do we all follow? So bunches is credited. Wait, sir. So in, in this trust. money, we do it because the thousand rent pounds, eh? If it yes, had, yes. If it, if it didn't bounce, we wouldn't do this. We wouldn't do this, yes. yes. If, it, if, if it hadn't bounced, we wouldn't do this. Okay, I see. I'm very confused. Yes. yes. So, Rob, I guess in trust in cash book, there's nothing that we do there because there it's money that we're talking about. So, for the fact that it has bounced, it means that the trust cash book is zero. Yes, there's no money. It's in, it's, there's no money there. There's nothing. Yes. It's in fact in the negative. Yeah, so there's, no, the need to reverse, there's no need to reverse the 12,000. Reverse it from where? On the trust cash book. We are transferring from business to trust now. Right. And in finalizing the transfer process, we will go to the business cash book and take out money in favor of the trust account. And we'll say here, transfer to trust, trust cash book. Yeah. And then we go to... Yes, sir. I just want to ask, uh, what is what does the twelve thousand have to do with the thirty thousand? I know they are they are saying the thirty thousand bounced, but how is the twelve thousand connected to to that, and why should it be reversed? Because we paid money to SARS twelve thousand, thinking that we have thirty thousand in the trust account. Yes. So when the thirty thousand gets uh, reversed later. It affects our books of account. Now we are left overdrawn with 12,000. Okay, thank you. But, Prof, okay. yes. I wanted to find out uh, why didn't we take money from the investment account? Because For what? We are not For authorized to do For that. For what purpose? Like, like Why would we say for investment? It was for investment. If that's an account, you can use it because it's earmarked for something. It's a deposit yeah. for the sell, not um, for uh, for the, for the purchase. Cost. Yes, and also it was only authorized for investment. Use the money as so instructions. In order to we finalize the, the money as process, per, use the money as per, use the money as per the instruction that you have been given. We will now we come to the trust. But what if but what if you didn't have money on your on your on your business? How are you going to fix no, it? No, you'll always have money. You are an attorney. No, there's not. It's not always. But what I'm, what I'm concerned the about more, is that as an attorney, say, say, you will always have funds. Sorry, let's say, sorry, sir. Sorry, say what I'm concerned Tatana. about more is let's, let's an to, the principle is that I, I can, can prove coordinate, please. The principle is that it is presumed that you will always have money in your business account. And that is why the law says if there is a deficit in the trust account transfer from your business account to the trust account. Uh, sir, may I ask something? 
uh, the reason yes. for vaccine, uh, we're not told. Wouldn't it be simple for me as an attorney to call and find out who has reversed the money and say, hey, bring back the money? Because yeah, but the, the it LPC is I'm not interested in there. It means I'm working on isolation. People can deposit and withdraw as they want. No, but remember here they say it was reversed, not it was withdrawn. It was reversed. So the reason for the reversal is, is, is immaterial now. The problem at hand is that you have a deficit and you cost this deficit by paying. So, so said so the money goes go to, to SARS. Did the payment go through to SARS? No. Yes, it went through. Sir, can I explain something? If you're an attorney and you go to the bank and you open up a trust account, it's a trust account, so it's um, it's actually flagged as special. A trust account cannot have a bank overdraft. So that's the reason why you have to make the short, you've got to make up that shortfall immediately because you're not allowed to have an overdraft. And by, by, the, by the mere fact that the 12,000 Rand um, was bounced means that it was in overdraft. So you have to immediately make it up. That's the reason why the 12,000 had to be deposited from your bank account, business bank account into the trust account. Is that and correct? That the So it's deposited so that it can um, pay SARS? No, that's the short call. SARS has been no, paid SARS already. has already been paid. You're not allowed to have From a deficit, a, an overdraft in a trust account. It, it, you, the bank can close you down if, if they think you're trading recklessly. recklessly. Okay. But would it, can we move? wouldn't it be safe to wait to be for to the, be on the safe side? Is to wait Prof. for the notification that the money okay. has been okay. received in the Listen. trust account and then make the payment. Yes, well, Prof did 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 say this video, and he did can say that you allow me to facilitate an overdraft on your. Can you allow me to facilitate? Can you so move on? Let us say you can first with the question, please. Guys, can you allow? Please allow the lecturer to talk. Ah, can, move on? Can, can we continue, on? please? Nice. Can, can we deal with the question as it is? The question says the EFT was reversed. Can we please deal with that? The principle says when it has been reversed, you must show the reversal in your books of account. If there is a deficit in your trust account, you must do two things. Report to the LPC and correct the deficit by transferring from your business account to the trust account. So we may discuss so many things, but the law is there. It says transfer from business to trust, and that is what we must do. Mm. As to what caused the deficit is immaterial. It is there. What matters is that it is there and it must be dealt with. And how do we deal with it? Report to the LPC and transfer from business to trust. That's it. Is it making sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank yes, you. Sir. Yes, thanks. Right. Let us move. So we have transferred from business to trust. We recorded on the transfer journal. After recording on the transfer journal, we posted two relevant ledgers by debiting Bonchi C in business and then crediting Bonchi C in trust so that there is now 12,000 
uh, to close the deficit which was created in trust. And then from there, we did the actual movement of money from the business account to the trust account. We credited the business cash book on the 4th of February, and we narrated that it is a transfer to trust cash book, 12,000. We then came to the business, I mean, to the trust cash book on the same date, 4 February, and our narration is X business cash book, and the amount is 12,000. Right, so we now can move to the next instruction. And this is number five. Number five says, on 8 February, you receive a bank guarantee from Khere Bank in respect of the balance of the purchase price. How much is the you skip the instruction. price? You skip number four. You skip oh, number four. Oh, you skipped number four. Yes. No, but don't skip number four. Deal with it as well. Don't skip number four. Number four you says on 5 February, the purchaser pays 30,000 cash. Please do not skip number four. It's important <laughs> as well, eh? The whole okay. task skip okay. it's a... Yes. Yeah, you, no, don't skip. Don't skip, please. We are waiting, waiting for you, sir. Right. On 5 February, the purchaser pays 30,000 cash. What do you do with this? What do you call it first? It's a, it's a, it's a money that we receive. Cash payment. Cash payment. It's a receipt. Yeah. So we, debit, we don't debit our trust cash book. Debit trust cash book. And we credit the purchase. Right. The we call this. We call these a composite deposit. We call these a composite deposit. Why do we call it a composite deposit? Because it combines trust and business money. It is a mixture of trust and business money. How so? In this 30,000, there is our 12,000, and there is 18,000 belonging to trust. So these two make this a composite deposit. We will take it to trust. On which From here, where do we go? We Bonchisi in trust. trust. We credit Bonchisi in trust. trust. On but which date? On the 5th of the February. Not so. Yes, sir. And then we move further. Number five. On 8 February, you receive a bank guarantee from Khere Bank. You receive a bank guarantee from Khaira Bank in respect of the balance of the purchase price. Do you get this? Yes. On 8 February, you receive a bank guarantee from Khaira Bank so in respect need... of the balance of the purchase price. Okay. And then please keep the people busy for a couple of minutes. We know it is. What is the balance of the uh, purchase uh, price? 600,000. It was 600,000. What is happening here? We don't know. Yes, it's a guarantee. This is only a guarantee. It's a guarantee. It's paper yes. money. 
Does this mean it's risk investment? I think we need to go to, our, to the general. Yes, the general. Because it's just the guarantee. In respect of the balance of purchase price, yes. 600,000. Fine, we do nothing. So what is left? We do nothing because we are not receiving money. On this date, we are not receiving money. We are simply receiving an undertaking from the bank that upon registration of the bond, the bank will pay us the balance of the purchase price. So today, we are not receiving anything. We are not receiving any money today. We will receive it on the date of transfer. Is it making sense? Yes, sir. Now let's move. Let's move to number six. On 16 February, the bond and transfer are registered. On 16 February, the bond and transfer are are registered. Then we have received the 600,000. The bond and the transfer are are registered. What do we do here? Now David, we debit the, the, the trust cash book, 600,000. But it's not indicating that we see receiving any money. Doesn't this mean it's, that it's, it's, a, it's a bond? Certification that you've received, I mean, you've closed the, the, the investment. What is the investment? Of? No, it's not investment, it's a bond. Say so just said that if you, if it's registered, that's when you receive the money. And the last sentence says that the bond is transferred and registered. So we then we, we close the account. And and we call up the investment. We call up the investment because then we, now we have to follow steps, isn't it? Yes. Right. Yeah. On this date, you are told that the bond and the transfer are registered. What it means is that the property is now officially belonging to the purchaser. It is now registered in the names of the purchaser being Bonchis. Mm -hmm. Jantino has performed in, in terms of the agreement by passing transfer to Bonchis. Yes. Jantino is now entitled to the purchase price. So remember that he was not paid anything in respect of the purchase price. The money was administered by yourself, the conveyancer. Now, when you are told that the transfer and bond are registered, you need to focus on paying the purchase price to the seller. For a couple of seconds, I'm going to make you admin or host. I'm just going to finish my lecture. Goodbye. Right. You need to focus on paying the seller the purchase price. How much is the purchase price? 900,000. 900,000. 900,000. Do we have it in trust to pay the seller? No. No, no, no we don't. The guarantee. We don't have. But do we know where to get it? Yes. 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 We do. Yes. Where is it? The, the bank. Where are we going yes. to get the bank? bank? It's investment. It's investment. Investment plus the bank. Plus the bank. Investment plus the bank. Let this us close the, the investment account. Let us close the investment account. Do you remember how we did it uh, last night? Yeah. 
Hey, David, the investment in going posted on the trust cash book. Fuck off, man. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Hi, good evening, everybody. Hello. Jock is just Who finishing. Ninety-five percent of the interest. So he's just asked that the we center. continue without him for a few minutes. But we'll just wait for everybody to come on board. Joaquin, can you please Joaquin, mute? Joaquin, can you please mute? Joaquin. Joaquin. <laughs> Well, I have no Barbados. How much were we told we were going to get as interest? Three thousand. Three thousand. What is ninety-five percent of three thousand? What is ninety-five percent of three thousand? One fifty. Two thousand eight hundred and fifty, and then five percent. One fifty. One fifty. One thousand. And whose interest is this? The amount. LPFF. LPFF. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Um, we, we call up the investment. I'm sure uh, the money that was invested is uh, 400,000, if I'm correct. No, it's 300,000. 300,000. Okay. 5% okay. is 15,000. And then, no, interest is 3,000. 300,000 is what we invested. And then we will credit the client being bonches with how much? With 2,850. Yes, 2,850. And then open an account for the LPFF, not so. Yes. Yes. How, how, how do we get to the 95 and 5 percent split? Exactly. Um, Section 86.4. 86 of the LPC Act. Any instruction or any statement to the effect that we are getting a specific percentage from the 300,000 invested? Yes, right at the it bottom. Is. Look at the yeah. additional notes. Look at the last statement of the question. Additional yeah. note there. All right. Yes, 3,000. And then now we can withdraw, not so. Okay. And we're taking it back to the trust cash book. How much in total are we withdrawing? 300. Where do we take it to? To the seller. No. Debit no, no. Or credit the trust cash book. We debit. We debit. We debit. We debit. We debit. The purchase. How much are we getting? 303,000. 303,000. So we can pay the LPFF same time, not so, or on the same day. How much are we paying the LPFF? 
150. So we credit the trust cash book with 150 and debit the LPFF, not so. And this happens on 16. Trust cash book. February. Narration is trust cash book and the amount is 150. And you can close the account. You can close the account as well. Yes, sir. Are we now able to pay the purchase price to the seller? Yes. No. Once we've paid. No, no we have to no. pay. We must see what is due. No, we are not able. We are no. not able. We don't have the 900,000. The money. We don't have the purchase price. But do we know where to get it? Yes, we do. Yes, that line. The, well, the, the bond has been approved. The guarantee. bank, not so. Yes, the, bank. the guarantee. Guarantee from the bank. How much? 600. 600. 600. What else do we do? After we debiting the trust cash book. What else do we do? So can I just check it? The for six hundred thousand. Can I trust? May I please ask a question? We credit the six hundred thousand, which is the plan. Yeah. There was thirty thousand that was. There was thirty thousand that was paid by the purchaser. Is it not supposed to yes. be subtracted from the uh, the outstanding balance? What is it for? I'm saying there was thirty thousand that was received. Yes, what is the thirty thousand for? Pitch. That's what I'm trying to establish. Yes, my question is it, to you is, is not... what is the thirty thousand for? What's for interest? It was for the payment. It was eh? for disbursements. It, it... Yes, for costs. Yeah. All right. So can we now credit Bonchisi with the 600,000? Yes. Yes. Mm. And our narration is? is you can give Bonchisi the whole amount, the 900,000. Do we now have the whole purchase price in the trust account? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Can we now pay? Yes, we can. Are, are we in a position to pay? We are in a position to pay, sir. Sir, can right. you please ask the question quickly? Yes. Why um, are we depositing the 600000 on the 16th instead of doing it on the 8th? When we receive the bank? on the 8th, we were not receiving. We said we were not receiving money on the 8th. We we're only receiving a guarantee. So a guarantee, guarantee is not money. money. It's simply a, an undertaking. It's a commitment. So only receive it on the day that we are going to be paid by the bank. And the bank will pay us on the date of registration. And the date of registration is 16 February. This is why we receive it on 6th February. All right. Prof, Prof, can I ask you a question? Right. The Prof, the seller. Prof, yes. can I ask you a question? Uh, yes. What about our 12,000? The 12,000. We will get it. Paid. It's in trust. It, it is safe in the business. trust account. Well, well. Listen, we will get to it. Right. We are going there. All right. All right. So we need to pay the purchase price to the seller. 
We are not going to pay the purchase price as if we are paying a disbursement. Because the seller is our client. The seller is our client. So we need to create an account for the seller in our book. We will open an account for the seller by making use of a trust journal. We'll make use of a trust journal. On the trust journal, we will debit the purchaser and credit the seller. Who is the purchaser? Oh, Who is the purchaser? Who is the seller? Jantino. Jantino. And our narration will be Purchase price, transfers, purchase price, transfer. Transfer of purchase price. So we have recorded on it. Uh, aren't we journal, supposed to see? date our journals? We may. So we post to ledgers, not so. Is yes. in trust with debit. How much? Nine hundred thousand. And our narration will be Gentino. And then we open an account for Gentino in Gentino, trust. Yes. Should we debit or credit? Credit. Credit. Thank you, see. Which date? 16. 16 of February. And narration? Purchase price. Have we paid? No, not yet. No, we haven't paid. No, we haven't paid. We have only shown that Jantino is entitled to 900,000 in our trust account. Can we now pay? And how do we do so? We credit the trust cash book, not so. Yes, we credit it. We say paid. Antino. And the reason we pay Jantino now is because we don't have any estate agent involved. If there was an estate agent involved, we would first pay the estate agent and then the remainder we would pay Jantino. So we credit the trust cash book with 900,000 and then go to Jantino and debit on the same day. Provided trust cash book. Cash book. So we've paid the seller now the purchase price. So the account of the seller 
may be closed. Closed. Yes. A lot is happening with the 19th. Yo. Yo, 15th. <laughs> yeah, I mean the 16th, yo. Hmm? So we've paid the seller this way. Can we now deal with our own fees? Can we? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Where do we record our fees? <laughs> in our own books. Book. Where? In a fee journal. 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 Right. How much is our fee? 12,000. No, our fee. Not the disbursement. So it's a collection fee. Eighty thousand. Is that thirty thousand? How much is our fee? Ten percent of thirty thousand. Our fee is eighteen thousand. Oh. Do you understand how we got that eighteen thousand? Let's take the page no. out, bro, so we can minus two thousand. Yeah? Let's take the page up so we can see, bro. You from the composite money. The oh, 10 minus 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. 30 minus 12. Please take the page mm -hmm. up, bro, so we can see a little bit. A picture. The page, your page. You can move it up a little bit. Scroll up. Yes. Yeah. Sir, can I please ask a question? Yes. Yes, you may ask. Um, do we assume that it's eighteen thousand because that's the money that's left after he paid the thirty thousand, or did we charge eighteen thousand? The money that's left. We assume that from the amount received for pro forma costs. After paying disbursements, what remains is your fee. So we assume, but unless if it's written, then we have to take. Maybe if it's if we charged ten thousand and eight thousand is left, we have to send it back to Bonchis. If you've done what? If we've charged Bonchis, maybe ten thousand rent. And he paid thirty thousand. We subtracted the twelve thousand. So basically, we have to send back the eight thousand. In conveyancing, you give your client a pro forma account of the costs involved beforehand, oh, and he pays you just... the pro forma costs in response to your pro forma account. Terminology pro forma is difficult. It's like so uh, you will know that from the total given to you when you minus disbursements, the amount that remains is your fee. Okay, so I understand. Thank you. Sir. So we go to fees journal. To record fees. Yeah, let's scroll up a little bit, Prof, so we can see your fees journal. Yes. How much is our fee? Eighteen thousand. Yes. 18, <laughs> From a journal, where do we go? Sorry, Prof. Is this uh, inclusive of VAT? No. 
Not to the ledger. We go to the ledger. Business or, yeah. or trust the business. ledger. Business. There was no instruction on that. They need not no, but be. we know we have to we have to we've take the money back into it. the business. It's ours. We post. Hey. Yes. With debit, so we debit, we debit Bonchisi in business, not so. I will open question. an account for yes. Is no. the inclusive of that? I said no. Okay. If it was inclusive of VAT, sir, we would have created an account for VAT, like we did in previous exercises. So, do we debit or credit fees? We credit. We credit. We credit. And what is our narration? Convincing. Legal fees. Oh, so we've written our fees now. No, convincing. Monkeys. What else do we do after writing fees? We do the cash transaction. Transfer from trust to business. Transfer journal. We transfer cash book. Yes, we go to the transfer journal. But what are the two things you do before you transfer? You find out what's Make recycled sure to you. How much is due to us? Yes. How much? 18,000. 18,000. Go to the accounting business. It's what did you see there? 30,000. 30, Is it available in trust? Is the 30,000 we want to transfer available in trust? No. no. It is. It is. It's available. It is. From the transition of the fifth. It's available. Of February. Okay. Okay. How much is available in trust? On Bontis' account in trust? 32,850. How much? 32,850. Yeah. 32, yes. 32, yeah. yeah. So we can transfer. So we will come to the transfer journal. Remember, we have a transfer journal already. <clears throat> Do you remember? Yes, sir. Remember the transfer journal we used to transfer the 12,000 from business to trust? That's correct. The one that was correct? Yes. We go to that same transfer journal, and this okay. time we say Bonchisi in trust, Bonchisi in business. The amount we are transferring this time is 30,000. And your narration is transfer of fees and disbursements. So from here we can post to ledgers. I think so, yes, sir. Won't you see in trust? We must debit. How much? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. 
in February. Narration, bunches in business. Business. 30,000. And then we go to bunches in business and credit. How much? 30,000. 30, and when does this happen? You do the cash transaction. And then narration is bunches in trust. Sorry, sir. Can the, the narration also be just be transfer journal or not? Transfer journal. What are you saying, sir? Can the narration at the end, because it's just a balancing figure at the end, because at university, we also just said the narration could be just transfer journal. Is that applicable yet to or not? On which account? On this balancing figure, this last narration, where you said bunches in trust, could the narration just be transfer journal as well on both sides or not? Hmm. I, I don't know. That's, that's, that's how we just want to show that it comes from the transfer journal, but I would advise that you do not complicate it. Simply say bunches in trust, because that way we know that it comes from the account in trust, which belongs to bunches. Sorry, Prof. So you'll see that Bunchy's accounting business is settled. Do you see? Yes. Yes. We can close the account. Close. Yes. Then we can also finalize the transfer process by doing what? By crediting the trust cash book, not so. Yes. But what would be the narration, sir? What will be the narration? Where? On the trust cash book. Transfer to business the same way we do all the time. Transfer to business cash book. Remember, this is what we always say when we transfer from trust to business. Do you follow? Transfer to business cash book, 30,000. And then we go to the business cash book and debit to show that we are receiving funds. We debit the business cash book. On which date? The 16th as well. <laughs> Narration will be X trust cash book. The amount is 30,000. So there's only one thing left for us to finalize this transaction. What is that? The 12,000 that we, we were rectifying, uh, what do you call? Eh? 12,000. To pay the interest? There's one thing that is left. What is it? Pay the client interest. Statement of account. Pay interest to the client. Yes, pay interest to the client. Oh. How much is it? Uh, less than uh, 2,000. It was 2,850. 2,850. 2,850. Yes. Debit or credit? We're paying it. So. Debit or credit when we pay client? We are going to, to credit. 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 Money is easy. The outflow of money. Yeah, my mind. So we say paid bunches two eight five zero, and then we come to bunches account in trust, and we debit on which date? On the date that we make payment. It's an expense. When is that? When is that? The day On the 16th. Oh, yes, when is that? On the 16th. Yes. So we are done with this exercise. Yes. A long one at that. So for writing these little things, 
you get the total marks allocated for this question. It carries about 30 marks. Little things. <laughs> so you get 30 marks just for doing this. Ah, uh, one. There's a little bit of things. <laughs> you always have to show yeah. all your calculations. Prof. Can I, Prof, yeah. can I see case yeah. book? Yes. This is cash book, please. Which, yeah, here's the cash book. The business. One. Here's the trust cash book. Do you see? The business cash book. Okay. Can you scroll page by page, uh, uh, Prof, so that we can at least snap the photos because we take time to get these notes from Zukizwa. Okay. You can just reduce the view uh, size to 75 perhaps, then we can quickly snap page by page. Because we were writing, I was writing, but because... Yes, I've got it. The first page is fine. Well, why, why don't you ask a uh, prof to send to one of us, then we can share. But we haven't received the one for yesterday and the other we day. Just paste it on the chat. Just paste it on yeah, the chat. Yeah, we can paste it on the chat. Oh, same document. Yeah, if you can do so, it's fine. <laughs> when will the prof post Go this on the chat? <laughs> <laughs> so when are we gonna receive this? Can all these exercises be posted? So, so prof, if Have you, you taken this one? This, uh, no, no, no. If you say this is 30 marks for the exam, it means we're going to sweat in our exam, right? Yes. <laughs> May we please have the notes? Prof, when are we getting the notes on the, the charts? Notes, the, the notes, notes please. The notes, chart. all the notes that we have not received. We received it thus far. I would like to thank you make for, use of them for this lesson. I don't think anyone has noticed that, but I think we did. But thank you for extending your time to make sure that you actually explain for us this whole question. Okay. Thank you. Prof. Uh, did, no, I, did I hear you well, correctly well. yesterday when you said this is a closed book exam? I will not allow to refer to your notes and all that. You, you will not bring anything to the exam. Yeah. Yeah. For so, practicing, we need the notes, please. Yes, you can practice, but um, we should yeah. you will not bring any material to assist you in the exam room are we not is it the exam not online <laughs> i am not sure how it's going to be <laughs> Mara, you can't laugh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. are you stopping at us but he wants us to practice so that's why he's not saying much i think it's not <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. Now I'm interested in getting the notes. Me too. Oh, I'm yes, interested yes. in getting the notes, Prof, so I can listen to your lecture while I'm going through the notes and my notes. I'm interested yes. in getting prof. the notes. Please. Thank you, Prof. Can I ask you a question? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, bro. Good night. Fine. This concludes our lecture for Good night. Before... Good night. Good night. Okay, so, yeah. bro, before you what go, are... when are we getting the notes, please? Good night, bro. Thank you.